Hey folks, and welcome to Subjective Thoughts. And our comic for today is The Incredible Hulk Between Hammer and Anvil, issue 182 by Marvel. Now there is uh, guns, uh, murder, beating, violence, explosions, and surprisingly some really weird alien shit. Like, really weird. I did not expect that. So if you are in any way squeamish, you have been warned. Also, spoilers. All right, let's get to the people. All right. So the writer is Len Wein. Artist is Herb Herb Trimp. Oh, I read a lot about him in the Hulk, the little book of Hulk. Um, colorist is uh, Glennis Wein. Uh, letter is John Constanza. I hope I didn't botch that. And editor is Roy Thomas. Oh, hello, Mr. Thomas. Man, they need you back in Marvel. All right. Let's get started. All right, so this is another one of the um, facsimiles. I try uh, to pick them up, you know, see how uh, comics were back then. It's very interesting. Um, I think this might be the first comic of Hulk I read where it's, you know, actually about the Hulk. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I don't remember reading one where it was a Hulk comic. Right, so this one uh, was definitely surprising. So we start with um, Wolverine actually being there as well. I, I, it looks like he used to work for the bad guys, maybe? I don't really know much about Wolverine's history. But anyway, he's in his old costume in this one. Wait, I'll show you where he's got the the whiskers. This one. Mm, not sure how I feel about the whiskers. Well, anyway, he's working for these people who want to capture the Hulk. Um, he's failed to, uh, to capture him. Or, sorry, to kill him. No, wait, what did... They, no, they wanted him to capture him. I'm sorry, we have a heat wave in Israel and my brain is struggling. So he failed to capture him, so now they'll do it in their own methods. They tell him to get back on their fancy schmancy plane, or helicopter, sorry. They manage to um, subdue the Hulk with the gas, but he escapes. They fly him with a, with a cage. But he just rips the bars open and just strolls on out of there. There we go. And then we meet... Uh, and there's a shit ton of ads in this, in this comic. And cool old ads. Some, some funky shit. But man, a lot of ads. Then we meet Cracker Jack Jackson. This gentleman here. He wants to go look for his son who's in prison. He doesn't tell Hulk that immediately. But anyway, he and the Hulk become friends. Then we meet his son, Hammer Jackson, or... Um, wait, what did... I think Larry, or Lor... No, what did Jack say his name was? His son Larry? I, I don't remember. Something with an L. Well, anyway, his son is escaping with this idiot... They uh, managed to escape the guards, and now they're trying to find a way to take off their handcuffs, and they keep running. They don't like each other. And then we meet this. That is the creepiest thing I have ever seen. That is like a combination between Humpty Dumpty, an alien, and a pumpkin. And it's, oh, it's so ugly. Okay, well, whatever, who's ever the Herald of Galactus right now, go to this planet and let Galactus consume it. We must not let these creatures breed. Oh, seriously, this is such a creepy creature. I like
like them usually, but ugh, this one's just ugly. He's so ugly. Ugh. I can't. It bothered me the whole comic. Uh, but uh, that's not nice. I should not be against aliens. Anyway, this not so attractive alien gentleman comes to Earth to. I don't know, have a stroll, I guess. He doesn't do much, really. Well, uh, th these two shoot him. Ugh, oh, so many ads. But apparently it helps him with something, um... I don't know. It helps him with something. First time, something positive, I guess, happens when you shoot some alien. Usually you get eaten. Well, anyway, he's like, oh, thank you. Now I will uh, do something in return for you. Here, I'll make this chain you have powerful. So he makes it golden. And now he, this chain can cut through materials. Look at that. And he gives them... I guess he gives them super strength and then just fucks off. Because, like, okay, I did my thing. I'm not staying to see the results of my actions. Eh, smart alien, smart alien. An asshole, but smart. Anyway, they're like, okay, we have this chain. And they decide to go back to prison to, to get revenge. How dumb. Sorry about the traffic. No, I mean, you got a super ch Go rob a bank or something. I don't know. You don't get money, things like that. Then come back with an army to the prison. I mean, if you're gonna go, go big. Now nah, let's just go right back with this chain. Nothing will happen. We'll defeat everyone. Morons. Oh, so I guess they didn't long-term long -term think what they're going to do afterwards. Yeah, can you imagine? I mean, they, can they even take it off? Like, the, the cuff thing. Can they do that? How are they going to work it when they have to pee? I'm just curious. All right, anyway, I mean, they don't like each other, so that's going to be fucking awkward. Well, anyway, uh, while they're going back to the prison, uh, Cracker Jack Jackson and the Hulk make friends. He teaches them how to write. That's really nice. And the beginning of this, Hulk had a different adventure, and he already forgot those people. And there's a um, bit about military to go investigate someone. Eh, doesn't matter. Then we get to the prison. Ugh, more ads. Bloody hell. Alright, we get to the prison. Uh, Hulk, you know, the, takes uh, Mr. Jackson, just, uh, you know, fly, jumps over the wall. Uh, here, Mr. Jackson meets his uh, son. You know, uh, he, he's a musician. So Jackson's a musician. And he hasn't been home much. I guess he's been working. I don't know. They have a complicated relationship. Him and his son. It would seem, you know, but his, uh, he wants to fix it now. His son tells him it's too late, all those things. And then uh, accidentally while they fight, uh, he touches the chain and it kills him. Which, how does that work between the two, the two of them? Like, one of them, if one of them actually touched the chain, would they die too? Well, anyway, poor uh, Mr. Jackson dies, which, ah, it was a shame. I was rooting for him. I liked him. And yes, he dies, and uh, Hulk is very upset, naturally. And he's, <laughs> man, Hulk, Hulk has some uh, funny uh, insults, actually. You know, it's like, he doesn't, he doesn't have a brain, he's not very smart. He calls him Flathead. <laughs> Which, yeah, he does kind of have a Flathead. This is just funny. No, the, yeah, it's sad, you know, the Hulk is very upset. Because Mr. Jackson dies, and then he starts fighting them. And they apparently heard of him, and they're like, we're gonna kill the Hulk. With this chain. Hi, Morads. 
Well, they attempt to kill him, but the Hulk uh, manages still to uh, to win. Because the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. And yes, he rips the chain, and their power is gone, and now they're going to be back in prison. The guards like get them all. But of course, Hawk takes uh, Mr. Jackson's body and gets out of the prison. And in the beginning of this, uh, Mr. Jackson told him, "A man ain't got nothing if he if he ain't got his name." So Hawk buries him uh, properly uh, there, and even makes a tombstone for him. And spelling's not entirely correct, but hey, it's the thought that counts. So yes, yeah, so and that's where uh, the story ends. So uh, this was a good one. A lot of story in this. Uh, <laughs> this like one issue. And I liked it. I have to say that I, I didn't really like the art particularly. In some places it was really ugly. And in some places it, it, it looked okay. I, I don't know, not, not, not my favorite style. Ooh, I gotta show you. I almost forgot. I wanna show you one face here that was really funny. <laughs> look, look at his face. <laughs> it's just hilarious. It's like, holy shit. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, the, the story was good, the art, eh. Still, uh, it, it was okay, not not my favorite. That does explain a lot, because at first I thought, why would it be difficult for the Hulk to rip a chain? And I just assumed it was just golden. So it's like, Hulk can easily rip stuff like that. But then the alien explained it. Oh, that alien. I wonder if they ever showed him again. Ugh. Can you imagine a whole planet full of them? Ugh. Call Galactus. Call his heralds. I don't care. Silver Surfer. Nova. One of them. Get that planet consumed. Alright, I'm gonna stop now about it. Alright, now seriously, it, it, it was a good story. It's, uh, this is an interesting uh, run. I, wonder, I think this is a, a, the run that went on long, right? I'm pretty sure it was mentioned in the little book of Hulk that I read. Oh well, so that is it, folks. Uh, let me know if you uh, read this particular one. What did you think of it? Do you know if those aliens have their own story? I hope not. And then the, I had enough of them in here. Alright, so that is it. Uh, remember... Collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. And never go to this planet where those pumpkin egghead freaks are. Bye!